Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will see how we can connect to a database in our Java application. As an example, I will demonstrate it using MySQL database. As we have many frameworks and utilities nowadays, which will handle all the boilerplate codes for, for the simplicity of our code, but it's always better to learn how the things are working in backend for those abstract interfaces. So what is JDBC? It stands for Java Database Connectivity and is an application programming interface for programming language Java, which defines how client may access the database. It is a Java based data access technology used for Java database connectivity, and it is also a part of Java standard edition. So Java database connectivity consists of various drivers. There are mainly four types of drivers. The first one are called type one driver. So that calls native code of the locally available ODBC driver. The type 2 driver calls the database vendor native libraries to connect. The third ones are purely Java based driver that talks with some middleware and then that middleware will talk to the database for all the database related uh, operations. The fourth one are totally pure Java driven uh, drivers which directly connects to the database native protocols. Now let's see the building blocks of JDBC. The first one is driver manager is used as a connection factory for creating JDBC connections. JDBC supports creating and executing statements. These may be such as SQL create, insert, update and delete or it can be any stored procedure calls as well. Then we have statement. The statement is sent to the database server each and every time when we try to execute any SQL statement. Then we have prepared statement. This statement is unlike the statement which will be sent to the server every time it will be cached in the database and executed multiple times in efficient manner then we also have callable statements it is used for executing stored procedures on the database now let's see the jdbc architecture here so on top we have our java application which will make use of jdbc api and that api will connect to the driver manager and if you see the driver manager is directly interacting with the databases using the JDBC drivers. These will be the appropriate JDBC drivers. Like if uh, we need to connect to Oracle, then the driver manager will need those specific JDBC drivers which are required to connect to the Oracle. If it is MySQL, then the JDBC drivers will be different. We, I will show you how we can add those drivers because that will be the part of uh, steps on how to create a connection with database. So this is how the JDBC architecture is. Now let's see uh, what are the steps to connect to the database. The first one is importing the JDBC jar. So all these steps which I will be mentioning here, I will show you uh, in practical as well. So first one will be importing the appropriate JDBC driver as a form of jar. Then we need to load and register the driver class which is present in that JDBC jar. After that, we need to establish the connection between Java and database. And after that, we need to create a statement object. Then we need to send and execute the SQL query using statement. After that, we will get an output as part of a result set or if it's a select statement, then it will return a result set. If it's an update or delete statement or insert statement, then it will return uh, the number of rows affected. And in the end, once all the processing is done, we will be closing the connections. <clears throat> Now let's see with an example how we can connect to MySQL database from our Java application. So for that prerequisite is we need to have MySQL database installed on our server. On my machine, I have already installed MySQL. So here uh, it is having a database name user DB and inside that I have a table users. So that users table have ID, username and password three columns where I have already filled the data. And now on the Java application side, I will be following some standards uh, that I'm being used to. So here I have one password encoding and decoding utility uh, class, uh, which is nothing but uh, just encoding or decoding the password for database to base 64, because it's always better if we do not use password in plain text. So I will be storing the password in encrypted form and in the code itself, I will be decoding and uh, uh, using it in the functions. So after that, I have one interface constants. So here, uh, whatever constant values or the data that I will be using multiple times, I can um, declare it here. 
so here i'm declaring the username uh, the encrypted password after that i have the jdbc url so this is the type of uh, this is the syntax of declaring the jdbc url it starts with jdbc after that mysql and then the server name which is localhost in this case port number on which database is running and name of the database which is user db that we have just seen after that we have db driver class so this is the class uh, which will be used uh, from uh, the driver jar file and uh, used to connect to the database and after that i have two other classes one is database factory and other one is fetch the user details so these two i will discuss uh, just after the first step so the first step as we have discussed was to load the jar file so for that when you install mysql on your database on your server then they will provide you the required connector jar files as well so what you have to do just right click on your project inside the build path go to configure build path and after that in the library section under class path as i have already added so you can see it here but if you want to add it you guys just need to click on class path and click on add external jar so it will open a dialog box like this so from there you can select the connector jar file this jar file is nothing but the implementation of jdbc drivers which will be used to connect to the database so once you have selected and added it just click on apply and close and after that now we need to create a class which will be uh, creating a connection object which will be used by the uh, other classes as well to interact with the database so for that i have created this database factory.java so in this first we are creating connection uh, object of connection just pointing to null and this connection is uh, defined in java.sql uh, package so after that uh, the second step will be to load the driver class to the memory so if we want to load any class in java to the memory or jvm we can use class.forName method so after that we just need to provide the name of the driver class so here you can see i have already defined name of the class in constants.db driver class after that uh, once it is done then using the driver manager we can get the connection so in the driver manager there is a method called get connection that requires jdbc url which contains all the detail like what is the database where it is uh, running what is the port number and what is the database name that we want to connect to and after that it will require db username and db password so db username is in plain text so i can directly use it here but the db password is in encrypted form so for that i have already created a password encoding decoding uh, class uh, in that i have created a method decode which will accept string as the decoded or encrypted string and return in the plain text so we are not printing it anywhere so it will be uh, decoded and directly passed to the driver manager dot get connection so once this is executed uh, an object of connection will be returned here and that will be returned at pass as part of this method call and this method is static so we don't need to create uh, any object for database factory we can directly call database factory dot get connection now let's move to the next steps where we need to create the statements and execute them so here this is our main class which is fetch user details so you already know the table name is users uh, result set and statement are declared here and assigned to null and on the first line itself uh, creating a connection class object and getting it from database factory dot get connection after that in the try block we are assigning statement as connection dot create statement it will create a statement that will be executed in the database now in the query string we are defining what query we want to execute which is select star from users so this is the query that we want to execute so uh, result set as we have already discussed it is a select statement so the return type will be a result set which is rs here so how we are doing it we are executing the query using statement so this is the syntax of executing the statement and qu uh, query statement dot execute query and in the parameter we just need to provide the string query so once this statement executed successfully then we have the data in our uh, rs which is the result set that we will be uh, iterating through using while loop so for that we can use rs.next that means rs is having some value so after that we can get rs.getInt and id so we know that id column is of type int so this is this is the method to get the integer column value in from result set and similarly username is string so we are printing get string username 
and after that here you can see we are closing the statement also and in the finally uh, it's actually uh, always better to close this thing in the uh, finally block so let me remove this statement from here okay so uh, now in the catch we are just printing a normal print stack trace and in the finally block finally block is the block which will be executed irrespective of any exception or no exception so in this case we are just closing the statement and connection as part of last step for the connection which we have discussed is to close all the connections so if we keep on uh, keep the connections open that will result into database performance issue okay so this is how the code is written now let's try to uh, run this code and see the output so from the database itself we have already seen uh, we have two records which are present uh, two username uh, id 1 and 2 let's try to execute and see what is the output that we are getting so here you can see one two my user and another user so these are the uh, two users which are available in uh, users table so this is how you can connect to the database uh, using jdbc so this connection was for mysql only because we are using mysql uh, drivers but similar way we can connect to oracle or any other uh, rdbms that's it for this video so if you like the video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching see you next time